Woo! Yeah. Yikes. Yikes, right? I'm wearing this stupid mask, but I got the biggest <laughs> smile on my face. Good, good. This is incredible hair. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> take it off. <laughs> I usually cut it down to a two. Just take it all the way down. Basically shave my head. So, and I do that about every six months, but this has probably been another two on top of that. I think I'm sitting around eight months now since my last haircut, maybe nine. I've walked in barber shops like this <laughs> and they'll be like, nah. For real? Yeah, absolutely. Like two, actually. What are we gonna do with so, it, What are you feeling? I, I, Typically, I cut my hair to a two, just shave it off. Oh, wow. I usually okay. go six minutes between haircuts. It's a dramatic change. <laughs> it's what I like to do. It's like just the way I do it. Because I like my hair, fun. right? But yeah. I also like having short hair. Like, okay. I usually have hair like you. Oh, we'll, we'll do a skin fade up to a two, man. It's going to look great. Whatever nice. you want. Yeah, all right. That'll super, be awesome. Yeah, that'll look, look great. Look super different. All right, yeah. Right it's going to look sick, man. All right, I'm excited. It's crazy. So. Last time I came in to do this, it's been a year and a half, maybe a little more. And I didn't do my homework and re research beard brand until the day of. And I was like, oh man, they have one point, at that time, like two million followers. Word. Word. My video had 40,000 hits in a week. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> I didn't realize all these people were gonna see it. But I got a kick out of it, you know. I, my my friends love seeing it. Finally had like the the random stranger that saw it. Uh, somebody at my wife's office. No. I was like, hey, is your your husband on Beard Brand? And the guy. Yeah. So yeah. That's it's, awesome, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I I like the uh, I I use some of the the balm. The utility balm. Utility balm, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, use it on my beard some, in the hair some. I really like it as like lotion. Yeah, to be perfectly too, honest, man. they gave me some last time and it's really nice for, instead of lotion. Oh, it's super legit, man. I use it all the time for that. Um, so yeah, was, but yeah, it. I hadn't really, I didn't know anything about the brand or what they did. So then I, you know, then I get sucked in and start watching the videos and I get it now. <laughs> It's funny because whenever I tell people about it that, like, what do you mean somebody's going to videotape somebody cutting your hair? <laughs> well, there's, you know, people watch this and I love it. It's kind of cool. Like, I get it now. I just didn't know at the time. And some of the comments are nuts. Like, some of people are like, yeah, let's, let's watch this right, right before I pass out, man. <laughs> love it. Every, every night. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that looks good. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wait, just wait. Just Some wait. of the most fun I've ever had with it is getting it braided. Oh, dude. I've had some... How many times have you done, have you done that move? Ten, maybe. Um, going all the way back to high school. I had a friend in high school whose mom braided hair over here off 35 and 290 and... Um, he was like, you gotta go in and see my mom. You gotta go in and see my mom. You gotta go in and see my mom. <laughs> Finally went and did it. And it was, it was an awesome experience. And so, I have definitely had it done a few times since then. But she, she hooked it up. She did like these crisscross things, go, braids going back. Oh man. It was so fun. All right, brother. Yeah. Like butter. There you go. Krusty the Clown. All right, let's move on to the beard. All right, man. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. No, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> For sure. It's gonna be good. It's supposed to be in the mid 90s, high 90s today. It's yeah, gonna man. Be much better not having all that hair. What's your big plans for the weekend, man? Gonna go watch the Texas OU game. Oh, hell after yeah. the, I think kickoff just happened. And uh, it's my birthday. Dude, happy birthday, man. Thank you. Yes, so, sir. gonna go camping tonight, taking the family camping for the first time. Nice, man. I got a three and a half year old and a one and a half year old. 
Oh, uh, one and a half. So yeah. you're, so you're you're in the trenches right now. Yeah, man. But she's a she's a trooper. She's gonna. She's got an older brother. So she is. Uh, I think she's more excited than he is to go camping. <laughs> so what do you guys take into the campsite? We did. We pre-wrapped some foil packs. So we got potatoes. Those will go on the fire. Okay. Um, and I've got some squash and, and asparagus in a foil pack. And I like that uh, Montreal steak seasoning. Okay. Just throw that in there with some butter or oil. I prefer butter, but... I like where your head's at. I like where your head's so, at. So that goes in the foil pack. The, uh, the potatoes are in a foil pack. And I just I put the potatoes right in the coals. The other, other stuff I'll do on top of the grill grate. Okay, and you the said you put the potatoes in what? In the coals, like where you, like you know how you build oh, the fire. In the coals? I just okay. put them right in there. Like that makes sense. It's man. like an oven almost. A, a mid rare on the steak. Yes. My exactly. Guy. My guy. Tastes different when you cook it outside. <laughs> Yeah, man, outdoor, that's, that's seasoning right there, man. Absolutely. Out there in the open air. I don't have a charcoal grill at home, so it'll be fun cooking with charcoal. Or if there's a grill grate for the, like the fire pit, if there's a fire pit, I don't even know. Yeah, so we, we have a public firewood pit, and I think they have individual grills. I think that's what we're going to end up with, too. I wish I knew more details, and um, we don't have a camping stove, so I'm really hoping there's there's a grill. Yeah, I hope so too. Makes things easier. I'm taking this one down to the down to the skin, down to the wood, as they say. Down hey, to the wood. Get a baby bottom smooth. All right. I'll start walking this fade up. All right. I like these keep on growing flags. Are those Beard Brand or did y'all pick them up somewhere? No, there's a company here in Austin, um, Wild Standard, uh, or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we had them custom made for, for the brand, man. Nice. It came out, came out pretty good. Yeah, they look great. Yeah, I feel like Eric's always talking about that in his videos. Keep on growing and, exactly. and um, what else does he say? Uh, when in doubt, grow it out. <laughs> Hear that one all the time. I'm going to have some good growing out to do after this cut. Yeah, man. So this is open as a full-time barber shop now, huh? This is a real shop, man. It's I'm awesome. Bull here. Last time I was in the other building, a uh, little different. Just the one chair, I think. Uh, I okay. Were you over in the Longhorn building? Is that the one between here and the next, in the big one? Yeah. yeah. So did Bob cut your hair last time? No, it was, um, shoot, uh, OD Fades. Oh, was, Cisco. Cisco, thank Yo, you. Yo, shout out to Cisco the Goat, man. Yeah, dude, he was awesome. Yeah, man. You mind the if I come through gonna, and clean this up a little yeah, bit, or, or what's your stance there? It's gonna grow out. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or it's not, and then you won't notice. You're a good sport, man. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna edge it up, but I'm just gonna sort of taper. So go from sort of longer to, and then I'm gonna shorten all these hairs up. Yeah. And yep, they're all yep. gonna blend in together. Yeah, that's good. That'll look great. So this is just a little bit of a one and a half. Okay. Going into the two. All right. And then here's a little bit of a number one. Cause I don't want to go in there and just blast all these hairs out, dude. And then, and then you're gonna have stubble on your forehead, right, and that's right, right. that's the first thing people are gonna look at when they're talking to you. Oh my god, I. Uh, Everyone's gonna take you serious. So, like you said, I'm a good sport, so I'll let them do whatever. So I got my first haircut in Miami, <laughs> and the look there. <laughs> the Haitian barber. You know, it's, it is a straight line. Yeah. And, I mean, he took a straight straight edge to my. And I remember those hairs growing out, and I was like, oh no, I can't do that again. <laughs> But it was funny at the time. It was like, this is, this is the look, right? I mean, th That's this funny, is the way dude. people were cutting the hair, or still do. 
that that uh that lineup. I'm pretty sensitive. <laughs> I'm, uh, but really, that's one of the reasons I don't shave is because my um, I get bad. Um, um, grown hairs or what? Irritation? Oh, what? Yeah, the irritation, like the I call it rash or whatever. Um, Have you ever had a straight razor shave? You know, I think they. No, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe they did it last time. I don't think so though. Well, typically I offer a straight razor shave with the, with the beard trim, but if it's going to piss off your skin, we can skip that, man. I, I mean, do, do your thing. If, if you think that's what's going to look good, do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not... Again, it doesn't last forever. It's just a... Razor burn, that's what I'd call it. Uh, razor burn. Yeah. It's because my hairs don't go all in the same direction. Me. We'll find out when we get down there, man. Yeah, exactly. But it looks—it looks like, it looks like your growth pattern is all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. Is what it is. I'm gonna start on the sideburns. Kind of fade into that number two there. And uh, we, we won't get as uh, uh, geometric as uh, the Ma our Miami barbers, but... Um, That's quite all right. It'll be nice and clean, man. Absolutely. Already but is. Go and close your eyes. I don't want any shrapnel flying in, man. Thanks, brother. I've been listening to a lot of books on tape just during this pandemic for something to do. I got my library card, and you can get... Oh yeah, dude. Tons of them for free, which is great. I keep forgetting that. But I was listening to this thing called The Tale of Dueling Neurosurgeon. It's just interesting okay. stories about um, neurosurgery and how our brain works and, and different weird diseases and stuff. And it just kind of talked about the history of where surgeons came from. Uh, and a I see lot of them were going. barbers. Yeah, man. It's insane. It's like... Yeah, I mean, every time I good cut hands, off, hands, right? <laughs> that's all you need. I mean, I shouldn't say that's all you need. You need a lot of training, but if you have good hands, I, I imagine barbers have great hands. That's a, that's yeah, definitely right on that one. But even some of the other stuff too, like teeth extractions, uh, bloodletting. Oh yeah, it's just crazy. Oh my god, that all that fell underneath us. At one point. Absolutely. You're in the chair, might as well. <laughs> Dude, you look good. I feel good. You're a handsome guy. Thank you. <laughs> Although oh, you yeah. looked way more like a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Before, yeah. And a good mushroom on top. You know, a good shave is all about, well, I mean, the blade's going to be sharp every time. Okay. Because every time I'm using a fresh razor. Okay. But a uh, good shave is all about the prep, man. Okay. So if you can somehow figure out a way to microwave a towel or steam a towel, probably just microwave a towel. Yeah. And um, get the skin and all the whiskers prepped before the shave. You're more likely to have like an enjoyable experience versus you know just shredding up your face. Got it. Because even like Mach three, Mach four, whatever fusion. I mean, it just it just seems so gimmicky, dude. Yeah, I didn't know if there was a. And you use that. Those blades get used way too long because people think because they're expensive, so you try to make them last as long sure, as you can. Sure, absolutely. You use them. I'd say try to go safety razor if you can. That way you know you're getting a fresh, fresh blade every time. Gotcha. And the angle's set on that thing already, so that you don't have the learning curve of a straight edge. Okay. The first time you use this on yourself, like <laughs> make sure you don't have anything going on that weekend because it's, sure. it's going to be brutal, man. Sure.
it's gonna be brutal until you get it, you know, until you get it uh, uh, um, all dialed in. There we go, brother. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> There it is. This is what you were talking about, prepping yeah. the whiskers? Yeah, so you're prepping the whiskers. You want to uh, heat is going to open up the cortex, and then the moisture is going to come in from the towel, and that's what's going to help uh, soften it up. And you want it as soft as you can. So, dude, when you just hold the razor, the hair should fall off. You know what I mean? Okay. But that, that way you get a nice, smooth glide. Cool. Um, once you get your lather back on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. you like it, man. Oh, absolutely. Like it. That's very cool. Yeah, that'd be hard not to like, right? There it is. Thank you. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was going to say, man. <laughs> I do not. Thank you, though. You make so many Buddha dolls out of this. Perfect. <laughs> That'll be $50. <laughs> What's up, guys? Big Chris down here at uh, Beard Brand Barbershop, Austin, Texas. I'm here with Joel. He's going to get a crazy, crazy short haircut today. And we've got a special buddy in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're taking a lot off. Um, That's what I've been told. Yeah, I don't know how much. You tell me, but oh, dude. I think go super short on the sides, and then uh, we're gonna go as shorter, as short as it gets, man, all the way down to the baby bottom smoothness right in through here. All and right. uh, I heard number one on top. If, if, if that's what Eric wants to do, we're doing it. Well, good, I'm for yeah, it. That's for super it. duper short. It's going to be super duper, super duper short. Um, for the beard, how are you feeling about the length and the chin, man? I, I like the length. Could be evened out. Uh, open to, to playing around with something new. Okay, right on. I think we'll keep most of the length in here. I mean, it's super bulky in here, mm -hmm. especially in the jowls, man. So we'll just reverse fade it, dude. Throw okay. a fade on the cheeks, tighten all this stuff in, and then put the length in the chin. That'll be the longest on this one. Cool. Yeah, man. There's a good joke right here. Bam! Didn't say a word. <laughs> How long have you been in Austin for, man? Like a year and a half? A year and a half? Yeah. Where were we at before this? Uh, I was in... I was in San Diego. And then I was in... I was kind of traveling, so... Right on. I was like nomadic. We did it, done. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be $50. <laughs> <laughs> So did you move out here to further pursue your comedic aspirations? No, not as okay. a something I do to keep myself entertained. Um, now I moved out because of like people like that guy and yeah. a whole bunch of entrepreneurs in Austin and uh, California is California. Yeah, man. So Austin's a good spot. I didn't mean to let you see all that. That's usually the part where I turn the chair so you don't nah, see all good. the... <laughs> have to see how the sausage gets made. No, I, 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 think, I think Eric was like, uh, yeah, working on this, uh, this YouTube channel. I think it's gonna work out. <laughs> and he gave a whole presentation on it, so... Oh, I get to talk on that. Yeah. And we're like, ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. 
Do we got a new product coming out? What is it? <laughs> yeah? What are your guesses? Guesses. Uh, well, I tweeted you my suggestion. Yeah, the CBD. Yeah. I feel like that's an easy. I don't know. I don't know how easy CBD is to make, but I feel like everybody's going to something. Oh, wait, like, we're getting vape carts? Is that what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so you got utility bong, uh, like a hairspray? No. Like, how, how long until you strong come out? Stronghold? Stronghold pomade? No. How long until you like, come out with your own, like, Scarves. Scarves? Those are the dope. <laughs> like beard scarves? Yeah. Um, I have no idea. Uh, is it like a... It's a staple that all dudes wear. So it's something you wear, it's not necessarily a tool. It's a, it's a product, a consumable product. Oh man, come on, dude. He's just giving it away. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I don't know. Yeah, everyone, you know, you need to wear it. Deodorant. Oh, is it like. There you go. Sorry. Wait, what? Deodorant, dude. Deodorant? Nice. I got some. I'll go get it. Can you leave that at my station <laughs> when you leave? Shorter hair for guys, especially, you know, starting to go away a little bit. Um, the tighter it is on the side, the fuller it looks on top, and then the shorter it goes and the tighter it looks on the side, just more complete it looks on top. So that's the biggest benefit to going super duper short when hair is starting to go away. Unless you want to be like me and have an extensive hat collection. <laughs> oh. So since we've got a one on top and my clipper is, my clipper opens up to a one, just shy of uh, that number one guard actually. I'm just gonna open the clipper up little by little and kind of spin Joel around the chair while I do it. And that'll give us like the blurriest, the blurriest outcome. Cause that's, that's what we want. Kind of American fade. Blurry, don't know when it starts. But you know when it ends. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know barbers that'll do one side, they'll do the other side, and then they'll come back and try to marry it uh, back in this area. And um, I think it's just easier to lose your place if you do that. So instead of little sections on the side, just, you know, little sections all the way around the head. Ooh, good question, man. So if you had a, uh, some flowy stuff back here, this is the occipital bone. This is the bones that sticks out the most from your head, and this is the whitest part of your head. And typically, number one fade, I'm, I'm gonna take the fade a little bit higher. So I'll start, start my first line will be like coming right off that bone, if that, if that makes sense. And that bone, the bend comes all the way back here and it protrudes out here the most. And uh, man, I just, I just follow that structure all the way to back here and leave the line here. And if he had flowing here, to go back to what I was saying earlier, I might bring this line down a little bit just so all this hair has, you know, has a place to go and it can still flow. Same thing as starting with the top. Got baby bald skin here, a little bit of trimmer work here. And then first thing, I ran the clipper all the way open. 
then halfway close, about halfway up. Then I'm gonna close it all the way. Kind of blend in with the trimmer work. And then I'll switch to the same guards coming down. I definitely, I mean, whenever I go super tight with the beard here, I'll come back in the jowls and kind of taper this, this section in two right in there. And then I'll come back and uh, we'll get rid of the more square shape and like try to cut it a little more rounder to, yeah, fit the contours of his face a little bit better. I mean, I'll clean up the chin a little bit, but a lot of, most of this hair I'm gonna leave alone today. Man. of the beard and then get in with the chin. Oh yeah. The guards have taken me as far as they can take me. How about the neck beard, man? Would uh, love it, hate it? Don't think about it. I'm cool cleaning it up. <laughs> So there's this Adam's apple right there. I'm searching for like one finger above that. That's where that's where this beard's gonna end. I'm just trying to keep this line natural. I don't want to push it down too far. Still release all that, all that time. It takes to grow these things out. Even this up a little bit. Go ahead and close your eyes, man. I don't want any shrapnel flying in there. Take a look, brother. Oh. See if I got you handsome or if I just yeah. ruined your whole weekend. No, no, you're good, man. I like it. <laughs> nice, dude. 
Hey, stand by. I'll put a razor on it too, man. Yeah, this is definitely how you can tell you came to the barber. Getting a straight razor over the years. Back of the neck. Like for this, for these half shaves, it's the neck hairs that give us the most trouble. And they always grow in different directions. So I was putting on that lather there, I'm just kind of feeling for any weird bumps. Feeling for like his hair texture underneath here, which is pretty damn coarse. So when I throw on the hot towel, I'm gonna really press it in there. <laughs> this is too hot, you let me know, man. Yeah, so the hairs, typically the hairs uh, towards your chest are going to grow up. These guys, sometimes they grow down, but with Joel, on this side at least, these hairs are all growing up. And then I just shave in the direction that the hairs grow. If you shave against, oh man, causing grown hairs, terra follicle. Just a bunch of bad Not the guys used to getting straight razor shaves. His hair and skin might be broken, uh, broken in enough, or he's had enough to where you know he's used to it. And then you can see right here the hair starts growing down. So it's gonna come back and exactly, man. Joel, got a cool towel coming up for you. Help close everything up and uh, cool off any irritation I may have caused. Man. Let's get the one and only beard brand. Spice citrus beard oil up in there. Yeah, don't be shy when you guys are putting this stuff on, man. Really work it all the way down to the skin. It won't feel like it can wear out on you in the middle of the day. Right. Dude, how was that shave, man? That was nice. Hey, what's up beard brand family big chris again here in the shop down here in austin i'm with my buddy neville today he's gonna get a bald fade and we're gonna clean this beard up because it is looking gnarly <laughs> you ready man yeah all right all right so nev and i were talking off camera a little bit um he's doing some things where he's trying to color his beard back in right here and that's cool because well let me, let me keep explaining here. He's got some gray that's creeping up and through there. And we talked about doing a bald fade because we can just boom, blast all that hair out, get him a sweet looking fade. And then for the top, we're thinking something short and manageable. You feeling that? Okay. Yeah, so this is gonna be something you could just, uh, most of it's gonna go forward and in the front, you'll be able to mess it up. 
and start the day off. And then for the beard, what I'm thinking is um, a light trim here in the chin, but definitely tight. I mean, just bringing all this stuff Get rid in of the here, Santa man. look. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look good, man. How long have you been playing with it for, man? A couple months. I mean, it slowly creeps in, right? But then, um, of course, with the whole situation in the world right now, it's been hard to go to a, a barber. So I was trying to dye it black at home with varying results. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, just like, you know, like part of my cheek is all dyed black and <laughs> it looks hilarious. And then it starts fading out after a week or two. So and I'm I mean, curious to see how it looks myself. Likewise, man. I've been, uh, I've been thinking about something like that myself because uh, I, got, I got more gray coming into my beard than I thought. Yeah. I thought it would be there. Well, you know, I like the, the of course, like the Bre Greg Brzezinski look, but his comes in all over. So mine is specifically like right around the sides. Word. Yeah, and it's not, it's not on the top yet. So that'll be cool when it comes in all around. Get all that gray stuff out of there. talk about this a little bit more when we get to the beard but I want to make sure I'm leaving you enough hair here so you can go home and do your thing man I mean you can honestly do whatever you want with it you know I'll, I'll go for it yeah nice I usually walk in the bar I have no idea what I want I'm just like <laughs> I guess the same thing I had before there's no rhyme or reason to it so So before I used a blade that took it down to like long stubble, this is going down to shorter stubble. It's the very non-technical way to explain why I'm going over this hair again after I just cut it. Because we're getting ready to go baby bottom smooth on this. <laughs> Since you're giving me a little bit more creative license, I'm thinking about maybe doing a, like the reverse fade here Bro, too. So full fade creative this way, license, fade full that creative way. license. Oh, man. Is this like the most popular style right now? Like a lot of close fades like this? <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it to me, man. I've done a kajillion of these. But it's just a timeless cut, man, mid fade. So back in the day when you would go to the barber and get this style of haircut, mm -hmm. um, it would be a razor blade and not an electric shaver like this. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that so, so you wouldn't be going every two, three weeks, four weeks. You get this, you get this haircut and then just kind of let it grow out into a shape over time. Yeah. You look back at some of those like 50s, 60s haircuts, it's kind of like, kind of like these. Well, it's funny because eventually, over time, this became trendy. Like, this became hip to have that fresh barbershop fade yeah. all the time, <laughs> all the time. But the original purpose of cutting it this way was more for utility, just so, you know, the haircut would just last you longer. Yeah. I'm just doing a little debulking right now, kind of getting rid of the stuff. All the long stuff that's in my way so I can see, uh, see my work.
see how big that beard is now. <laughs> I kind of forgot. I do like the, uh, the Dan Bilzerian look where he's got that point. Kind of looks like a villain. Man, I need to, I need to see a picture of this, man. <laughs> what, uh, what That's show? the only beard I can think of that, like... So you said it comes to a point. Are we... Uh... I think he kind of he kind of has it like that and yeah. that. I'm not saying necessarily ah, want that. That's the only thing I could ever think of. Like I'd want to do with the beard. Man, what you just did with your hands—that's actually what I was thinking in my head. Just want to make sure the back's smooth as I can get it, man. Yeah, skinny barber, this is the most troubling area. The follicles just get really, they get more dense back here. smooth when we're done. Nice. How are you feeling about all this so it far, cool. man? I like it a lot. Really getting to see I how do. the sausage is made right now. Yeah. <laughs> So what type of hair product do you use? Lately, not really much. Okay. Uh, but I do sometimes put some pomade in it and just mess it up and throw it forward. Right on. Although, uh, I also haven't done that all that much lately. Just been on quarantine mode, right? I just kind of <laughs> let it hang. Well, when it was this long, I actually didn't have to put anything in it. Just kind of like mat it down so it's not crazy looking. What's that, what's that spray stuff y'all have? I put some of that in it every once in a while. Oh, the sea salt spray? Yes, that stuff. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, Eric gave me some a long time ago. I was like, I didn't really knew this was a thing. <laughs> That's a cool sound. Right, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The old barber that I learned this from, man, he, oh, man, he used to make this sound all day long. I'm like, dude, what is that? Sounds like, I don't know, it's like a lightsaber or something. I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> I've never heard that sound before. So the cowlicks I'm taking tight back here, too. And I know some of the barbers at home don't understand what's going on. But you got two general rules of thumb when it comes to cowlicks. Either you leave them long so they can flow and lay down real nice with, and blend it in with the rest of the haircut, or you cut them short, smash the silhouette of the head. And since we're going for a very low maintenance cut, that's what we're doing today. So super duper tight with the cowlicks. What, what exactly is a cowlick? What's happening? It's, it, that's just when the, your hair just grows in different directions. Mm -hmm. I don't know what causes it. I just know they, they pop up. Some guys have like three back here. I want to say you, you have two here. 
Um, so it's just like a little no, small little growth. The guy before. It's just uh, like all like this group of hair. Mm -hmm. All these hairs want to go forward. These guys want to start going down. With the cowlick, it's like they just bump oh, into boy. each other. <laughs> Here that mimics point cutting. I'm just gonna do a little bit in the front here. Some crazy looking scissors. All right, man. You can really do some damage if you use this the wrong way. See, the problem is, I don't know what kind of hairstyles you can get. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. So, um, As far as what you can get away with, with, with uh, the top? Is what that, looks is good, what what's in style, what's out there? Uh, I, I have gotcha. no idea. So I got gotcha. you. Um, experiment. I think we'll be in a good place if we just keep letting this grow or get a little bit longer here, especially mm -hmm. with the colder, the colder months coming. Mm -hmm. And we just start taking it down on the sides. And just keep letting that uh, the whole chin go, yeah. that whole goatee area grow out. Really. That's what I was looking for. Well, today with the way that I'm going to trim it, it'll get you even set up for even a longer, a longer beard. Nice. I mean, it's your discretion if you show all the top lip or just cut mm -hmm. it off at the lip line. Just whatever you do, don't take it too far up to where you start seeing. See, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 like. <laughs> Now there's something to be said about coming in straight in like that and just uh, letting all this longer stuff from the top meet up with the other hair that you just cut short. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of tapering, like uh, sort of like rounding out the stash. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what happens when I do this move here.
I'm gonna style you up a little bit with a little bit of this tea tree stuff, man. I mean, you can pretty much imagine what I'm gonna do. Work it in a little bit, go forward a little bit, pop that texture out. Nice. All right, let's get a straight razor on this. Yeah, it's a. There's a lot down there. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this is your superpower, brother. That's it. You don't be embarrassed of this stuff. Oh, it's not an embarrassing thing. It's just it's a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be back in two days. Oh, poor guy. Shaves are always the best. Now that's how you know you came to the barber, man. You get a nice razor on the neck. Yeah. I put tea tree on these towels today, man, so it should be a nice tea tree experience. Tea tree for your beard. Replace any that I. That's what's been good. I rinsed out. Yeah, this shit. This is. It's a baller, man. What's up, beautiful people? Big Chris here at the Beard Brand uh, Barbershop here in Austin, Texas. I'm with my good buddy, Tim. Tim's got one of these, and this needs to go. We're gonna pass this along to Locks of Love and get him a new look. Stay tuned. All right, Tim, so how long, uh, how long have you been growing this for, man? I've been growing it about five years. Yeah, but dude. The last time I got a haircut, uh, was four years ago, almost exactly four years ago. <laughs> yeah. So what, uh, what spurred you to chop it all off today? I don't know, man. I just been thinking about it and, uh, man, when you have hair this long, it's scary to, <laughs> to do it. You know? like, it's like, ah, oh, should I cut it? Should I not? And then I just end up not doing it. And that was like three years ago. So nice, man. Well, hopefully yeah. you're on your way to a lot less bad hair days. Yeah. For, yeah. For um, really. Do you have any idea of what you want to do with it after it's done? I know you showed me some photos. Yeah, just something, you know, short, real short on the side, like faded, high and tight, okay. I guess, and okay. just pretty short on the top. Um, I mean, I, I have some hairstyles that I like. I always liked like a slick back look, but okay. you know, with my hairline, I'm not really sure if that would, right, man. If that would work. So I kind of want to go with what, what's going to look good on me. You okay, know? I gotcha, I gotcha. So. Yeah, I'm thinking about slicking it back too. I'm wondering if, um, you know, once I get all the weight from the mm -hmm. ponytail knocked out, if once we pull it back, maybe this fills in a little bit more. Yeah. That's a possibility. Good old fashioned comb over with a nice fucking fade. That would be nice too. Okay. Um, see what my brain tells me in the next yeah, few minutes probably... here, man. Here we go, Tim. All right. It's a really sharp clipper. It should be, should be painless. Woo. Dang. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> Talk about a rush, man. I'm going to leave that Lord. right there for you. <laughs> yeah. That's a wild feeling for sure. I've got this funky bob situation happening. Ooh, I would just keep it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty dollars. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the number two guard and just go straight up with this sucker. And with this move, it's just the clipper straight up off the parietal. Going for a nice high fade. Mm. 
And this parts of this fade where I'm just letting the head shape sort of uh, determine how, how the fade looks. But a big part of this is just, just getting the hair out of the way. So Tim, what prompted you to grow it out um, in the first place, man? Um, man, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I kind of just wanted to, I guess. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know that there's really a, a good answer to that. I kind of just wanted to really just to have it. and I had, I've only had long hair one other time and it was in like high school. Okay. So I was like, you know what, let's see what I can do with it. This is going to be a high fade, so we're going to take it up all the way the whitest part of the head. And wherever my trimmer comes off, that's sort of, that's how I know that's where, the, that's, that's where this fade will start. So did your girlfriend have anything to say about you rolling in today? About, about me coming in here? Yeah. No, she is cool about it. Nice, man. He said, do whatever you want. Oh, that's, that's awesome, man. Sounds like you got awesome support system. Yeah, that's probably why I grew it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> man, what was the toughest thing about having hair that long? Brushing it every morning for sure. I, I bet, dude. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I have to wear it in, a, in like a ponytail at work. And then I had to wrap it in like a bun, kind of. Oh, man. And uh, after, I mean, I work like 14 hour days. So after that, it's just like, it hurts really bad. Oh, f***ing bad, dude. Yeah, just having it pulled back like that, your scalp will hurt real bad. Yeah, man. I'd say that was the worst part, is having to keep it up at work. Ryan from East End. Um, the first time I met him, mm -hmm. we had like a bowling night with him. Oh, nice. And dude, these guys are so awesome. They drove all the way from Houston to, to play some f***ing bowling with us. Well, bowling's fun as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I got to learn about him that um, he's probably like, what, 10 years sober now, man. Yeah, he's a, he's a solid dude for sure. And I'll be going on four years myself this summer. Oh, nice. Oh, man, I got you both beat. <laughs> oh, how many, how many years you got, man? Oh, uh, well, shoot, I'm... I'm 34 now, so it was probably when I was 17. So. I just gave it all up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. It was a short period of time that got out of control <laughs> pretty quick, you know? He was like, I want hair, not booze. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. Seriously, man. Yeah, I heard Earth Crisis once. I was like, oh, oh straight edge. All right, that's me. Been doing that thing ever since. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it took me a little bit of time to figure it out. Yeah. But I, I sure as hell do not miss hangovers, man. No, it ain't fun. It can go away forever. It ain't fun, that's for sure. So next move is going to be number one guard going up. Man, when the hair is a little bit, the texture is a little thinner, a little lighter, if you want to say. Um, I skip that zero guard step and I go straight to the one and then I'll come back with the zero closed. But this is just a number one guard on here all the way open. And I'm going to go up, up about the same amount of space as I went up on that initial guide, guide line. And in some cases, it'll be a, a seamless transition from the clipper all the way open to this guard all the way closed. And if it's not, that's when I just come back with that zero guard and kind of massage it out a little bit. And an old barber once told me the hair reveals itself to you as you cut it. So that's, that's what we're gonna do right now. Sort of tap into this section, see what it's telling me. And then I'll start, I'll comb out the top, which I separated earlier. And then it should be uh, really apparent what I'm gonna do after that. So we're just doing some random stuff on YouTube, man, and uh, you saw the video, or? Yeah, I was kind of just looking up uh, hairstyles, you know, like, you know, receding hairline type stuff, and 
I saw uh, I saw one where you had um, it was you doing it just cutting some guy. I can't remember what it's. I think you're just doing like a basically like an entire head shave kind of with like a really short fade on the sides. Oh, okay. And uh, I was like, man, that place looks nice. And I didn't really know where to go here in Austin, so that's when I looked you up on Instagram. I think you're talking about Joel there. Yeah, man. Shout out to Joel. You might be watching right now. Yeah, it's, uh, when I hit you up, I had to make sure you were even willing to cut such long hair, you know. Like, <laughs> I know you guys probably don't do this every day, you know. We do this shit more often than you think, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so our thing is, like, as soon when you messaged me, I got excited because I was yeah. like, oh, my God, I think we got something we can film. <laughs> nice. You see how long that was, Ben? Oh, shit, dude. So it's so thin at the top. You can't comb it to the left or the right. What about forward? Do something. That's like how I used that. to do it a long time ago. How's that making you feel if we go forward? A little I mean, bit better little, than going yeah, back? Yeah, a little better, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could just cut this stuff shorter in the front. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go a little tighter on the side okay, since we're right. going forward with it. All right, a couple squirts of sea salt spray. I'm going to make sure I work it all the way in, all the way down to the root. I'm going to blow dry it like before. Instead of going towards the back, I'm going to blow it towards the front. Okay. What's that sea salt spray for? Man, it's, a, it's a very light holding product. Okay. And it helps pull texture out of here. Cool. I didn't want, we have a styling bomb that's a little bit heavier. It's a mm -hmm. medium hold, medium shine situation. But it would just be, get too goopy, man. Mm -hmm. It would be way too goopy for you. Yeah. So I'm, gl I'm glad that I have a product like that around that I can just reach for. Make your hair smell nice too, man. Yeah, it does. It's always good. a good thing. Y'all sell that here? Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, dude, I'm going to send you home with some today, man. Okay, good. Yeah, I got to get yeah, some of that. no worries. I got you covered, man. Yeah, for being such a good sport and letting me lop off all your hair. Huh. Well, somebody's getting a wig out of it. That's for sure. <laughs> That's what's good. All right, big guy, here we go. All right. So, yeah, man, here, man, it's looking good. Golly, that's so much shorter. It's <laughs> so funny. It's night and day, dude. Yeah, it is. It looks good, man. I like it. Yeah, nice. I like it a lot. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Glad I did this for sure. Uh, the first time you get out of the shower is going to be... Yeah. That's going to be wild, huh? It's going to be a situation. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to cut that mole off. <laughs> it was. It was running through my head. I, I, I charge for that stuff, sir. <laughs> You already know it was running through my head. So we'll negotiate the price next time. Yeah, next time. 
Yeah, we noticed when you guys stopped breathing. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Holding your breath. All those memories. Did you see it? Yeah, you should Does have seen see him. It? You should have seen me when he cut the ponytail off. That's when I was really stopped breathing. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up with the hot towel, man. So the one that I used on you today was a tea tree, but uh, yeah. Old Money is our best seller. Okay. And your girl smells this, man. It's gonna be some things happening, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take your advice, I'm gonna go with Old Money. <laughs> Just remember to shake it really well. You got tiny clay granules at the bottom. Okay, dope, dope. Yeah, and the liquid yeah. is sort of like the medium. Like yeah, okay, cool, man, I like it. I like it a lot, yeah. yeah. Oh, Appreciate yeah. the support, man. Thank you so much. I mean, and you just see like some butter. How does it feel? How does the yeah. hair coming off feel? Um. <laughs> Is it like losing it's a like, friend? It's not really nerve wracking. It's just like, okay, I'm just like questions in my mind right now are like, <laughs> man, I wonder what it looks like. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? Big Chris coming to you live from Austin at the one and only Beard Brand Barber Shop. I'm with my good buddy uh, Thomas here. It's been a long time since I've seen him. A very long time. He's got some very long hair. We're gonna take care of that today. Uh, we're gonna go super tight fade once again, and then we're gonna rake the hair back, but it's not gonna slick all the way back. Kind of gonna spike up a little bit. It's gonna be some cool stuff, man. Stay tuned. So what I'm thinking about is um, mid to high fade, probably a little bit higher this time. And then instead of having the hair long to where it wants to lay all the way back, I cut it a little, little bit shorter so it stands up a little bit, but still wants to kind of go in that direction. Symmetrical left to right, longer in the front, shorter towards the back. I think that's good stuff, man. It's been like a year, I think, since the last time okay. I saw you, like about a year and a month. It's been a high year, man. Yeah. I'm on a different booking system. I couldn't even look. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. And, um, what's going on with the, what, just a little, I've seen everyone doing this in quarantine, a little home dye or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, basically, so one of the girls at our circuit club got, uh, um, she got leukemia, diagnosed with leukemia. So then um, during that time, I didn't really want to shave my hair. Yeah. So I decided to bleach it and then uh, <laughs> dye it completely orange for like, the, for like the fundraiser that we're doing. I ended up going to visit like my dad in North Carolina and I was like, okay, I can't show up there with the orange hair. So then <laughs> I dyed it back to black and, and then like, dyed it black. yeah, I dyed it back to black, but then yeah. like the roots, I guess, or the hair just went back to like bright bronze or orange. I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm just like, it just, I, it's about time to just say, I think that's a fun is. story, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we raised over like uh, $2,000 for that event that we did. Oh, uh, no sh yeah, man. Yeah, totally uh, worth it, dude. So we still have like a little thing for her to, if anybody wants to donate like gift cards, like HEB gift cards or like, you know, food stuff like Chipotle. Um, and so we have a link for that and for her too, because I think she's still kind of still getting over it pretty much. So do you have like a GoFundMe set up or something like that for um, I think it's just like a Facebook, Facebook link. Okay. And then it leads you into something kind of like a GoFundMe. But I don't think we really have like a GoFund, like the actual GoFund. I think they just use something different. So maybe like an Amazon list or something like that. That's awesome that you did that, by the way, man. So I've got my right, man. This is yeah. fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my, uh, I got my number two blade on here, yeah. and it's a detachable because it's just a, it's just gonna clear everything out. Like this is the strongest clipper I have at the station. <laughs> I mean, and you just see like, yeah. my butter. This is gonna be so much fun, like watching it on video. <laughs> How does it feel? How does the hair coming off feel? Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it like losing it's a like, friend? It's not really nerve wracking. It's just like, okay, I'm just like questions in my mind right now are like, <laughs> man, I wonder what it looks like. <laughs> it's a close friend that you've had for about a year or so yeah. now. Waking up every morning and just saying, uh, like, why are you in my face? Hey, what's <laughs> up? Why are you in my face? No, it's been a lot of good times because like even like with swimming, I mean, that's like the best thing to have like long hair whenever you're swimming because then you can just get out and kind of shake it around. And, yeah, so I'm kind of like, man, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. All right, then we're done. <laughs> Clear the stuff out. Yeah, like that'll be $50. Yeah. So right now I coach soccer at Georgetown Soccer Association, uh, Georgetown Force FC. Uh, basically I have a U13 girls team and a U12 girls team. Uh, I'm also the director of goalkeeping there. Um, so I've been coaching about 10 years now. So like I said, it's something I really enjoy. Some, it's like a passion to have. Um, I don't really have to, like I said, it's, it's great to call that my job. Like right. I said, waking up every day knowing that, okay, I need to plan a session and then, you know, execute it during the day. I mean, that's, that's what like parents pay their kids you know, a lot of money for this. And so, you know, kind of feels like I need to be professional about it and not just go there just to, you know, oh, let's just, you know, play some kind of fun game and not really learn anything. Yeah. What did they think about your long hair? Um, they, well, they all know me with like the shorter hair. Um, some of the players did actually like it long because I asked them that debate because I think one time we were talking and one, one player goes, man, coach, you need to get like a haircut again. And then some players are like, no, it actually looks good. Like, keep it. And then... So like half my team is likes it, half my team didn't like it. So right now, I'm creating my first uh, guideline, and I'm gonna come back with the shaver and ball the skin out underneath uh, where this longer hair is here. But let's see, low fade, mid fade, and then high fade. So I'm sort of that's why I'm setting this line, um, you know, way up here coming up, coming up off the the parietal ridge. I hate getting too technical, man. Because I don't want clients, clients to sit in the chair and get technical too, man. I'm just like, just use everyday talk. <laughs> like, uh, like, hey, can you take it about a, a quarter of an inch above the parietal rib? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know yeah. if you really know what that is or not. <laughs> parietal ridge. Rated R. So right now I've got cordless master all the way open. I'm just sort of creating the first step in this fade. Yeah, my trip to Liverpool got canceled too because of COVID. That's so be, man. Yeah, yeah. You get your chance, dude. Yeah. I think I was going to have like two days in Ireland just so I can go to the Guinness Brewery, uh, Jameson Distillery, and then then I was going to jump over to Liverpool, and then after that, like Amsterdam. But yeah, I was like, man, when COVID hit, I was like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Yeah, we're supposed to go overseas for my 40th, man, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, man. So right now we're doing Clipper halfway open, and I'm starting to blend in with all this stuff here. So at first I did all the way open. I'm gonna go halfway. And then I'll come back with the clipper all the way closed. To sort of take out the weight at the very bottom here. Something like that. And then there's more notches on this master clipper to go through. So I start all the way, close it halfway, then I close it all the way. And now I'm gonna open it up just a little bit and just try to get this blend as smooth as I can. The margin for error is so small on, on these fades, especially in uh, th this part. So if you're a beginner, man, really try to get this step as smooth as you can. Because this, this is basically the foundation for your fade right here. And pretty much go almost all the way up to where I have it, where I set the master all the way open, if that makes any sense. So this is my number one guard all the way open, going straight up. I'm just sort of creating that next state step in the fade.
I think the time before What's up? I let my girls shave my hair on the when I had it long, yeah. I let my buddies do it. And they just gave me like, first they gave me a mohawk. <laughs> Mohawk's was, pretty easy to pull yeah. off on your own. Yeah, it was just pretty fun. But then they decided to like, give me like patches on the head with the mohawk. Oh, so they like okay. cut the mohawk and it was just like patch, patch. Patch and patch, <laughs> and then they were like, "You have to go to Taco Bell like that before we actually shave it off." So, so I went to Taco Bell like that, which is a little patch of like long hair and another patch of long hair. And then, yeah. People were just looking at me like, "What is this? What is going on with those guys here?" So now I'm coming back with the number one closed, and I'm fading into that one open. And if there's any weight left, we'll come back with the zero guard and clean that up. I'm gonna grab a number three. I'm gonna I'm skipping uh, skipping the number two for now because I'll come back and I'll marry the one and a half and the three together with the number two blade. Like I said, I really like grabbing these detachable clippers because the cut is the cut's just so smooth, so consistent. It takes a lot of less swipes to get like a true number three cut. Yeah, I kind of hope it stays cloudy this weekend, so I don't get sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> right, man? I'm done with the clipper work for now. I'm going to move on to the top, and then I'll come back and blend the two together. There's still some super long hair hiding out up there. Yeah. All right, man. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, it's gonna be nice not to just like have to wear a hat. <laughs> I'm gonna say, man, this is gonna be super duper easy to manage. Yeah. Man, so what else have you been up to uh, during quarantine? Basically, just a lot of disc golf, coaching soccer. Um, just because when we were off in the spring uh, for COVID, we started up like two months early in the summer. So we were out there like every day in the summer coaching and then just leading into the fall and then. Disc golf with friends. Um, Try to go out to the lake a couple of times, enjoy that. I started cutting the top by hands here and uh, anything from the top of the head going back. Show you all some cool stuff and do some clipper over comb work. But uh, I'm basically just setting my initial length, like the length that I think I want. I can tell I can come back in here and need to blend this a little bit better. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that stuff there. And this is very similar to like picking up the hair with your fingers and chopping it with your shears. And uh, when I'm doing this, sort of just trying to follow the head shape. You know, and this is one of those cuts where we don't leave the cowlick long enough to lay down. Um, you can actually cut it short to match the silhouette of the head here. So I'm gonna do more clip rover comb, especially right in here, try to get the, the shape from the sides transitioning to the top right. And I slapped on a, uh, my triple odd blade here, and that's gonna let me do some detailed work. I think before I had on like a number one blade, not as blunt of a cut, a little bit more texturized, but this is like, this is your detail work right here. This helps smooth out the fade too. Yeah, so come on over. Um, man, Old Money is the hottest seller and we're always sold out of that guy. But my personal favorite is Four Vices, so that's what I'm gonna get for Thomas today. Nice. Let's show him how to work this stuff too, man. Four Vices, man, it's my personal favorite, dude. Tobacco, hops, marijuana, coffee. <laughs> Almost right. always say cocaine. <laughs> So I'm just gonna emulsify in my hand and then work it all the way down to the root. And even if you don't blow dry your hair, if uh, towel dry it, you know, sort of comb it into the shape you want, let it dry, and then you can come back with this stuff and run it through. Yeah, I think I actually invested in a blow dryer. And oh, now, so. 
Congratulations, man. <laughs> On your way to having sick hair. Yeah. All right, brother. I'm gonna let you get final say. Nice, nice. It does look good. It <laughs> got you back to where you good, were. Yep. Right on, yeah. man. That's crazy. See all that long hair and then all of a sudden it's just gone. I was going straight home today. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hair, Dustin. <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? Big Chris back in the one and only Beard Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas with uh, my buddy Dustin. Dustin uh, has been growing out his hair for about two years now. And he's going to be donating this to Locks of Love. So another donation today. I'm going to chop it off about right there. I'm going to shape up his beard a little bit. It's going to look amazing when we're done. Here we go. Pull that picture out again. I want to see. Okay. I want to see what we're going for here again. Let's see. Because I think I can run a five or a six on it. So this is what we're looking for here. Sort of a tighter taper in the in the temple area. Taper at the bottom and the back. I love it. Nice. Yeah, nice texture on top. Yeah, dude. A little longer in the front, shorter towards the crown. A cut so that everything's laying down nice, balanced. All right, and then let's let's talk about the beard, man. What are you thinking about there? Uh, you know, just kind of shaping it up, uh, starting to get the kind of like the neck beard where this stuff's yeah. going a little bit longer than what's on the chin. Yeah, my so jump straight uh, to the bottom of the beard. I'm just kind of shaping it up and getting all these little little hairs okay, okay. taken care of. As far as the line on top, man, do you want me to try to keep that as wide as possible or kind of bring it down until um, it starts looking heavy? Yeah, let's do that. If bring it down a little so bit. It's not so light there. Yeah. Okay, bring that down yeah. a little bit. Oh, yeah. What's your overall plan with the beard? Do you want to keep continuing to grow it or is this oh, as long as course. it's going to be? Of course. I've, yeah. I rarely ever shave. I mean, okay. I've had the beard for several, several years now. So. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. How about taking it in on the sides? Are you interested in that at all? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do that. You do let's that too? It. Oh, yeah, dude. Set up for a nice grow out, man. So how long has the top been growing for? Uh, about two and a half years now. Two and a half years? Oh, yeah. Hell of a grow out, dude. Okay. All right, man. So step one. All right. Knock this bad boy out. <laughs> This is the strongest trimmer, uh, excuse me, the strongest clipper I have in the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> man, Dustin, I appreciate you giving me your trust here, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been, I've been watching the YouTube channel for a while now. You've been watching the channel yeah, for a minute. I've seen your videos and really like your work. <laughs> Bro, I appreciate the support, man. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, Keeps motivating me to keep doing these videos, man, when you guys leave such uh, awesome comments down below. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was going straight home today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bobbed <Great>. out. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to start off by uh, sectioning the top off from the sides. Let's get the hair nice and wet. So I'm not exactly sure what guard I want to use on this. That's why I'm sort of cutting the hair that's behind his ear and lower on his head just so I can sort of test out a patch of hair and I want you I want to make sure that the same density from the the photo you showed me is there this is a number six guard I'm using I'm really just trying to bulk everything and it's coming out pretty choppy with this six guard and that's that's pretty typical. If you're using a guard above a four, man, it's just not gonna be very even. So I'll go back and um, by hand, I'll go back and even everything up real nice. And when was the last time you had to cut this short, man? Ooh, I think back in 2018. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a few years. 
Most people would do the whole bottom of the haircut, but I'm actually gonna jump back to the top just because it's so long. I'm gonna start by creating a stationary guard right down the center. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, I like you working the camera angles here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, man, how about that video with Big Kev? That one turned out real nice. I think he sent me. I think he sent me a random text. He was like, "Man, Barbara said you killed it." Like, okay, Kev. Nah, it's just a little too long in the front. Let's take it shorter. About, about there. Charging by the pound. Yeah. Joke never gets old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just a little clipper over comb and I'm, I'm blending the top in with the side here a little bit. Really just trying to get the super duper long hairs out of my way. And then I'll come back and I'll just, I'll detail everything and make sure it's all blended together super nice. But the top is pretty much cut the way that I want it. Longer to shorter. And now I'm kind of just blending it in with the sides so and then eventually I'll be going back and making sure the left and the right are completely even. So I've got my number two guard on right now and same thing as before, just kind of trying to clear everything out. See you know, where I want the baseline of this taper to be at. And then I'll start fading everything else into this two and then I'll fade the two into the rest of the haircut. This is the one and a half blade here. I blend it into that too. I grab my trusty master. Kind of just try to blend into everything up top here. So is your is your rotation usually like you'll get this haircut and then you'll transfer back to the super long stuff again? No, I'm, I'm thinking about keeping it short. So relatively short for a while. This is like a number five detachable blade. Really just chipping away at it. I'm at that stage in the haircut where I could take off too much and put myself in a place I don't want to be in. And jumping back down to a three. Right, and when I'm working in the sideburn area, I'm already plotting on how I'm gonna attack the beard a little bit. So I'll take my number two and kind of go with the growth right in this, right in the, uh, the temple area there, along with the sideburn. And then I like to fade in reverse with these detachable blades. Just get more of a smoother transition that way. I'll jump down to the 1A. And back to the one and a half. I'll grab my half blade here. And right where the hair is already light. Just come in like right in this area. And I've got another blade. This is an OA. Um, a lot of beginner guys, this is sort of like your quarter blade. Well, everyone thinks this is the half. This is a lot closer to the triple half than it is uh, to the true half. That's, a, that's some real barber. Like, oh, dude. Real barber, top secret barber <laughs> stuff right there. I'm going to bore you with all the barber stuff. to the number one. Try to clean this up a little bit more. I'm gonna run to my three, and now I can work above that two. Then, just kind of clip over comb to the rest of the sides. I'm kind of just, I like combing this hair out behind the ear. Sometimes with the way that hair lays down, 
can fold up if that if, if I'm saying that the right way <laughs> and kind of bulk up behind the ear nice. so that's what that little moves about right there so this is more clip over comb work to blend the sides in with the top silhouette of the head all the way down to the taper should be a nice nice uh, nice shape I just want to go through by hand and sort of uh, see if I can find where any weight, any weight's hiding where it's not supposed to be. Like right here. So I've got my texturizing shears and a wider tooth comb because I want that texture to be a little bit more spread out when I use my wider tooth, my wider tooth deal. And the texture we're putting it in, half of the hair shaft way down and then back up. And I'm trying, I'm doing my best to cut the texture in the direction that the hair is going to flow. And he gets his, uh, and he gets the styling bomb in there. So I'm going to pop some texture in where the hair starts to fall on the side here. I can do a little bit back here too. When I'm doing it here, I'm being too careful not to do it here. If uh, we start cutting these hairs shorter than they, than they already are, then they'll, they'll spike up, spike up. So just right along the ridge here. That's really where I'm trying to focus my attention. Man, this gorgeous beard you got here, dude. Um, <laughs> what do you do to take care of it, man? I just, you know, beard shampoo, beard oil, from beard brand, beard. of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> right, yeah. And this is the area that's been driving me nuts ever since you sat down, man. Getting all this out. So Dustin wants to grow his beard out to be super, super huge. So I want to take away uh, as little as I can from this area right here. All right, so I have my new number two blade and I already came this way with it right in here too. And I think Eric did a video on this uh, not too long ago where he wanted to tighten up his face, so he just ran the clipper straight down. I mean, and that's what y'all should be doing at home too. Don't go in with it, but just right off this structure here. Go straight down with the blade if you can. And when I comb the hair this way and cut that section, I'm trying to prevent the corners of the jowls from growing out too quick on them. Okay. <laughs> so keep this area nice and tight on you, Dustin, but the chin section will be nice and full, man. And the same thing as the other side. Comb all that shit this way. Boom. Knock that out. So do you have any preferences for the stash, man? I, it looks like you like it off off the top lip all together. Yeah, I, just, I don't like it when it grows over the lip. Okay. Girlfriend's tired of making out with it? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> blast this out, man. So I want to try to keep uh, Dustin's beard as wide as I can. I mean, you'll see some barbers, they'll, they'll take this line and drop it all the way down to here. But what I want to do is Keep it right with the corner of his stash right there. Stash comes this way and starts to break down. So pretty much where that break is, as close to that as you can get it. I went down just a touch lower there. But that's really where I'd like to keep his line today. So just knocking out like the stragglers right there. He's already got some pretty good lines back here, man. I'm trying to keep these natural. Yeah. 
And I like to take my comb and kind of do this move where I just kind of push this back, especially for the guys that we don't like the hairs in the corner there. Like kind of food gets stuck in there. Sometimes your, your tongue goes over there to play with it a little more than it should. So I really try to knock out the hairs in this corner here. Well, that's a trick old Cisco taught me <laughs> back when I was an apprentice. Don't worry, Bob. You taught me a lot of shit too, man. Don't think I forgot that mother. Yeah. Now I'm credit for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from the bleachers. We all, we all learned from Cisco. We all learned from Cisco. Let's see. <laughs> Cisco was a barber god amongst other barbers. You talking about old Francisco? Francisco, yes, sir. Yeah, I've seen his work on the channel too before. Back when I was a baby barber, man, I used to, oh. I studied under him. Section right there, man. Yes. Give me a hassle. <laughs> so the haircut's done. Now I want to tame it a little bit. So I'm going to grab some styling balm. And today we're going with the one and only Spice Citrus. Ooh. Everyone sleeps on this fragrance, man. So it is good. so good, dude. Nah, y'all are sleeping on Stone Mason, man. <laughs> Ooh. That's my sleeper. I'm just grabbing a pea size and I'm gonna emulsify it, man. And I'm gonna try to put it in the trouble areas first, so like right in this section. Trying to get some control here. And then I'm just gonna kinda kinda rake it through the rest here. So I'm trying to build volume in the front. And then get the rest of this stuff to lay down a little bit for us. bit better. So I'm gonna throw in this lather, I'll do a hot towel, I'll do a little more lather, and then I'll do the shave. And then I'll come back with the cool towel at the end before I set you free. Oh man, this guy's lucky day. Spice citrus hot towels. Ooh. Yeah, oh, like yeah. <laughs> it's the best oil for making hot towels. No doubt about it. Getting this more even than it is about clearing out. And uh, for Dustin, we're gonna try out some of this Spice Citrus Utility Balm. He's got a pretty dense beard, so I'm gonna work it in there real nice. All right, now for the greatest scent, Beard Brands Catalog. <laughs> even, even better than Black Sales. Yeah, I said it, I said it. <laughs> I enjoy this one so much, my wife does too, man. Gotta send you home with what we used on your hair today. So send you out of here with the utility balm for your beard and some of that styling balm for your hair. And then just like I did, man, pea size in your hand, emulsify, run it in the troubling spots first, rest later, good to go. You're welcome, bro, my pleasure. Hey, what's up guys, it's Big Chris down here in Austin, Texas and with my good buddy, Luke. He's uh, off to a wedding in a few days and we're gonna get him cleaned up before he goes. Let's get it started. All right, so uh, what do we wanna do with the hair, man? Uh, so it's getting pretty long. I can't really wanna keep that thing rolling. So okay. We just clean up the sides, pull it all like down here and okay. over here. Um, I really, yeah, I don't really want to lose any of the length. Yeah, I remember we were, we were growing it out last time, right? Where? I just want to keep that rolling, but that, keep it short. Okay. The sides. And this part right here has been kind of sticking up and like popping back. Like this, that. this guy right back in here? Yeah. Like doing that move? Yeah. That's okay. Weird. So I don't know what to do about that, but if you can. We'll play around with that, see what we can come up with, man. Yep. 
uh, keep most of the flow, sort of clean it up and reshape it. Uh, and then, you know, do some clipper work on the sides, but keep it relatively long, three, four, something like that. Classic taper in the back. What do we want to do with the beard, man? What are you feeling? Uh, so this also growing it out. Yes, sir. It's getting pretty, getting pretty long. So just kind of want to clean up the sides, match it in with the sideburns. Oh, yeah. Um, keep most of the length yes. like in the front. Okay. But just kind of thin, thin it out a little bit. Really take the face and bring it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. That yep. move? All right. Yep. That ass, man. And maybe just like clean it up around here because it gets a little ratty down there. Yeah, my eye was starting to catch that. Yeah, especially that right there. So how's class been? Has it just been, has it just been all virtual for you, man? Yeah, so it's all, it's all online. It's all, and it's really tough because the, the classes I'm taking, physics and everything, they've got uh, labs. So they just videotape the lab and post it on YouTube and you watch it what? and take your measurements from that. And it's a huge pain in the ass. I was just gonna ask, man, how do you feel about that? Yeah, Holy it dude. sucks a lot. Cause you don't really get any like hands-on understanding of what's happening. You're just watching someone else do it. I think the action of doing it helps me learn. Like are other people in the class talking about that or? Yeah, yeah, everybody's pretty, pretty fed up. Got about some that. complaints there. And not to mention our professor is not the most technologically literate <laughs> person. Oh, that's tough, man. He spent. 40 minutes with his head down, not like teaching stuff, but we couldn't see what he was writing. Oh, <laughs> and he didn't look up to check the chat for almost an hour. So we had no idea what was going on, completely lost the whole class day just because, just staring at his big bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> How's the family, man? Liam's doing all right, dude, back in school. Nice. Uh, <laughs> it's so cute, him and. <laughs> Him and the other kids are gonna do like a Halloween parade this Friday. Oh yeah? So I'm gonna go check it out. I think they're gonna do like a song and dance and uh, you know, they're all gonna wear their costumes, dude. Yeah. It's gonna be that's stupid. Awesome. Yeah, dude, as a parent, that's like ridiculous. Ridiculous level of cuteness right there. Yeah. Are they uh, in class like full time or? So he goes part time um, and he's, he's in a pretty small class, dude. It's like yeah. eight of them in there. Oh wow. I think the number may have changed, like one or two more added. But um, they stay outside for most of the time, and they're pretty good about, about wearing their masks, too. It's pretty, uh, really? it's pretty impressive stuff, yeah. I bet. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, it's going to be really interesting to see, like, how this whole thing progresses, like, because they're going to remember this whole thing. He's going to have some memories, right? It's going to be interesting. Now, there, there was one day I had like a banana, I was doing the bandana around the neck thing and it was nice, man, because this was like, you know, you don't always have to check for it, it's just yeah. always there. But it feels like it's going to slip like most of the time, that's yeah. why. That's why I try not to do it too much. Yeah. Now might be the time to switch to like a gator because it's getting colder. Bro, I'm feeling it. I'm seeing guys with the neck gators. Dude, it switched. It got cold fast. <laughs> like, super fast. That's how Austin is, man. I don't know. Just, just dive right in. I don't know. Would you say it's fall? It's kind of like winter down here. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a, a fade taper situation back here, and then I might take this down to a two here. Got like a four and a half, a little bit of a four here. I'm thinking like maybe about a two here. So most of the fade, at least from the skin up, is going to be in the back. So. She's still trying to like get settled in like a better job. She, uh, her manager is moving to a different store and she's kind of not looking forward to getting to know a new one. So she's trying to, trying to make some moves. What does she do? Does she? So she's a stylist, senior stylist. So there's, they have all these different departments, man. Dude, she styles, styles men, maternity, kids. They have like a luxury line. She'll style that too. That's what it is, dude. My wife yeah. dresses me. I'll admit it on camera. I'm not insecure. Not even a little bit. <laughs> have a professional stylist at home, right? That's what I'm saying, bro. I have been noticing that, Chris. I've been like complimenting you a lot on your wardrobe and it all makes sense. Yeah, 
you can maybe tell you, when maybe I'm you should take some pointers, man. <laughs> <laughs> we just got too used to having just Sammy, and he's so well behaved all the time that we didn't have to like dog proof anything ever. And then we got this guy, and we just stupidly assumed he was going to be the same. So I mean, we want to leave most of the flow on top. Uh, talking to the folks at home now. But what I'm doing is just kind of blending in with the four and a half right here and uh, shaping it so the hair that comes out matches the hair going this way, matches the hair going that way. And then I'll come back and trim the top later and it'll, it should blend all in pretty seamlessly. Let's see what's going on with the top, man. Trying to keep as much length as we can in the front here. Yeah. I'll tie it into the side here a little bit too. Yeah, I like to, you know, like pull it back and whatever. Yeah, because your move is like one of these, right? section. Let's see what's going on now. Nah, one more shape than that. And I really just want to get the ends here, man. This isn't anything crazy. Oh, yeah. Clean her up from the very top. This is the hairdo right here. Change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you home like this, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> man, this little flap right here, right, man? Yeah. So what happens, you put product on and it's just like, just yeah. does whatever it wants to do? Yeah, I mean, okay. Like, I can make it lay down with, like, hairspray or whatever, but I like to just use that sea salt stuff. Okay. And it just, like, alfalfa sprout, it's, you know. It's, it's on this man. Let's see, falling this way. I'll just try to cut the texture in the direction that the hair flows. So since the weight is all shifting this way, So I've got like a two here and I've got my three guard on and um, I'm gonna bang out like a little bit of a three here, but I'm gonna take this three and a half right along this ridge here, um, just so that when the beard grows back, we got most of the length here and in this area and what I'm gonna be tapering in and taking down is like basically boom, this stuff, a little bit of this stuff too. Mostly doing this freehand, a lot of machine work in here. Cause we're trying to bring Luke's face in a little bit. Might run some three or two, like right in this area. How about this stuff uh, from the whiskers right here, man? How are you? How are you feeling about that? Yeah, I like it. You know. Every now and then, curl it up a little bit, right? Okay, right on. We'll leave you some of that behind. Special occasions on there. <laughs> Won't take too much from you there. 
I actually switched to the two because I didn't think that I took enough off here. So I'm gonna come back. Maybe two open. Then I'll close it up because I'm gonna try to keep this as wide as I can for him. Just so it's less chin strappy, more, you know, full beard. Uh, you and me have the same texture, man. That same like curly, dense, heavy, and the utility bone is like perfect, especially for a beard this size, man. Do you have a preference for a line here, man, or? So, um, what do you mean? Like, as far as like taking it low, keeping it higher? I definitely like to keep it as high as I can with, okay. uh, with it still being okay. solid. Because up here it gets a little scrappy. So I usually pull it down. All right, all right. Okay, keep that trend rolling. See how that's making you feel there. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, I dig that. Stuff. Yeah, that's good. Real good. Hell yeah, man. Let's get a straight razor on this one. It's the best part right here. <laughs> <laughs> how about where I'm shaving right now, man? How does this feel? It's good. Okay. I just wasn't sure if he had a little irritation back there. Yo, how hot do you like your hot towel, man? Hot. Hot? All right. I'm bringing it. Hot, just let me know. Okay. Like a sauna. <laughs> That's what you want, man. Yeah. So is Sweeney Todd like mandatory viewing for all barbers? Uh ooh man. At least once for sure. You gotta watch Sweeney Todd. You gotta watch Barbershop with Ice Cube. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what other barber movies are mandatory, Bob? Coming to America. Oh, oh yeah, dude. So 
So, you know, I'm accounting for the angle, but also like which portion of the blade I use typically, you know, the point to about the, maybe towards the middle, but that first portion of the blade I use, sometimes I'll switch up to the heel too. But for a little half shave like this, just making sure I'm cutting with the grain and using mostly the point of the blade. And I'll come back with the cool towel, man. Close it all up. Yeah, seal you up. Get you ready to go out there into the world. The fresh, new, cool face. So I'm gonna hit you with a little bit of aftershave and then uh, dust you off. Throw some of that balm in there. So have you tried uh, the, so you tried the Temple Smoke Sea Salt Spray. Mm -hmm. Beard oil or utility balm at all? Have you tried those yet? Mm -mm, nope, not yet. Sweet. I'm also find some of this in my palms. I'm just trying to get it in there really well. All the way down to the skin, man. Luke, for being such a good sport, man. I want you to take home another Temple Smoke Sea Salt Spray, some of the utility balm that we used in the video today. Awesome. And one of these sick ass combs since your beautiful dog ate your other two. Yeah. And this oh, one's pretty perfect, badass, man. man. I want you to see this up close. Too. Put that Whoa, in dude, hand, that man. is awesome. I don't even know what's going on there. Made in Switzerland. You're awesome. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Serengeti, Serengeti, Serengeti Plains. Plains. Like okay. turtle shell and zebra. Yeah, man. That's awesome. <laughs>